Yeah, you are a stinker. Let's go find some screws, okay? So there's our little display. It says it's 31 degrees outside, which I don't know how I, it's still lowering some because it was inside. It's gonna tell us the wind speeds and stuff. It's gonna be pretty cool. What's the wind speed right now? 1.7 miles per hour. <laughs> it's like the lowest winds we've ever had here, guys. Two mile an hour winds, guys. I can't wait for a windy day. I'll show you guys. <laughs> Oh, it won't be windy because we have a wind thermometer, a wind gauge. <laughs> so that'll be probably the best gift we could get, and then it'll be nice and calm up here for the rest of the winter. <laughs> so thank you, Steven. Okay, guys, we uh, got up this morning, and the battery bank on the solar uh, power system is low. It's at 24.3 volts. Uh, it's about 50% drained, and we have no sun in the forecast and snowstorms for like a week so i've been putting this off because the solar has been taking care of itself and charging itself up but i have a 24 volt charger that i've had laying around i'm going to try to hook it up to the, the system real quick and run it for a few hours today to try to get that charge up on that battery bank because we need the solar so if i can pump some juice into those batteries manually which every off-gridder has this setup uh everybody the solar doesn't maintain in the winter so you need a little bit of help and that's what i'm working on right now i've been lucky and fortunate enough so far not to need it but we need to pump some juice uh, manually from the generator into those batteries and get them topped off hope it's going to be as easy as i think it's going to be All right guys, so this is automatic battery charger. Here's some directions. I'm gonna read this, figure this out. Hopefully it's as easy as it looks. That's my input. Uh, there's two wires that are gonna go in here from the bat, from the generator. It's gonna feed through all this good stuff. <laughs> all kinds of good stuff in here. So, and there's a couple computer boards. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope I don't blow up my solar system. All right, guys, let's get going. Let's go hook this up. Been wanting to do this all for like six months, but didn't need it, so. All right, guys, this is gonna be a little difficult for you to see. It's close quarters. This isn't a 40 amp charger, this is a 10 amp charger. So two charging wires and then two wires to the generator. It's got fuses in it, so I shouldn't have to do any inline fuses. This is the output DC and the input. There's fuses already built in. So what I'm doing to compare this to guys is like, will diy he has all these all-in-one uh, solar packages uh, and he just uses extension cords for the in and out because it's only it's under 15 amp all right guys so here's our cord the wire here the dc wire going to the batteries should probably be a little heavier All 
All right, guys, here's the moment of truth, I guess. I got the right size wires for the DC side. So let's uh, turn the generator on and plug it in. Hope that nothing crazy happens. guys sorry that it's gonna be hard to hear I'm charging it from both ends of the po uh, battery bank the positive on this the positive on this battery is feeding from the charge controller and the negatives over there and then the standby generator charger I put on the opposite corners I don't know I don't know if that's a smart idea. I just think that might help it a little bit. But anyway, well, I had 25.3 volts before 10 amps coming in from the generator. So the, the AC comes in here, goes up to this bar, feeds this transformer. I don't, like I said, I don't know. This is a tran part of the transformer, an inverter, what this is. I don't know how this works. I'm not an electrician, so. We got some kind of capacitor here, looks like. And we got these two control boards. This one looked like it was, this one was lit up for the DC side. This one lit up once we turn the generator on. I'm getting a little under 10 amps. The voltmeter went from 22 and it's up to 24 now, so of course the sun's going to come out now. <laughs> but I wanted this set up and there's only one way to figure it out is to do it. I'm going to keep an eye on it, touch the wires and stuff, and make sure nothing's uh, getting hot, but I think we're good to go. So it's hard to hear me, sorry guys. So I'm going to clean everything up and get on to another project. Hopefully this helps uh, put some juice into these batteries. It's going to be super cool to have it just because when it's windy up here, it's crazy windy. So just to see what the winds are like. Very good addition to our off-grid home and we will post a link for that if you want it from our Amazon affiliate link like we said before all the support helps and people like to see them being used so we like it highly recommend it so check it out guys all right guys the uh solar bank has charged up it's only been a couple maybe an hour and a half but at least I know this Kohler automatic charger works because the battery a few minutes ago was up to 29 volts and the voltage right here says 24 volts but right here the DC amperage turned off and it's still plugged in but previously this was at not eight or nine amps and it was charging our battery bank so it turned off automatically so that's good so at least i know we can charge the battery bank now with the generator i'm gonna turn it off actually surprisingly the sun came out too of course and now i'm getting 700 700 free watts 27.3 volts on the battery 94 volts on the panels and it was at 6.7 amps a minute ago so we were getting about 700 watts and this is the ideal part of day i think it's noon right now you can see the sun is between these two clumps of trees but this is the lowest the sun will be on the horizon but it still gets a good amount of sun so there's no leaves on the trees yeah so the battery's charged supposedly as soon as the solar stops producing energy 
like right now here i'll watch i'll turn i'll show you there's no charging going on there there's no charging on the solar and this just starts to drop this was at 29 volts a minute ago and then once the juice turns off it just starts dropping down to 26 volts real quick i don't know if that's because it's so cold maybe i got unbalanced batteries uh, maybe I do need a, ba uh, a cell balancer or a battery balancer for this battery bank. I thought the way I did this, and because it's not like 30 batteries and it's not lithium iron phosphate that has like a bunch of little cells, like uh, one of them big kilowatt batteries has uh, different cell, like tons of little cells in it, and that balances the cells. I figured this was okay and didn't need a battery balancer, but maybe I'll look into a battery balancer. Maybe we need one. So. It's charging again. It like jumps up to 28, 29 volts. And then as soon as it stops charging, it drops back down to 26 volts. So I gotta believe that's because it's cold and because the batteries just aren't so hot. So when I mean hot, I mean the batteries just aren't as, as happy as they should be. But at least Jenny and I can not have to worry about my battery's uh, freezing. Now it's crawling back up because it's got 600 watts going in there. It's crawling back up to 27 volt and then it'll shut off because it goes over its uh, maximum voltage and then it drops down and then it starts charging again. So I don't know why it does that. You guys know why it does that? Let me know. So at least I know I can charge our battery bank uh, manually. Like I said, we haven't had to do it yet this year, but I kind of wanted to test that thing out and have the option in case we get a whole week you know more than three or four days with no sun so far we've been fortunate the sun comes out for a day and juices them back up but i don't like that it hovers around 24 and a half to 25 volts i would think it would hang out at 28 volts and then slowly trickle down so let me know guys all right guys you guys always say happy wife happy life right Everything Jay does is for Jen. I so, do stuff for you too. <laughs> People so, forget that. So, so this off-grid life came with a couple of regulations and prerequisites, okay? <laughs> uh, if we were going to be off-grid all the time, or a majority of the time, I had to take Jenny, or Jenny and I had to go on a little vacation to somewhere warm midwinter. We're busting out of the off-grid life and we are headed down to sunny, warm Florida. Hooray! Sunshine, so, so. palm trees. Yep. So, all right, guys, let's get going. We're going to head off the off-grid property. We'll be back in a week, but we're going to take some little clips for you and put them in here, okay? I know it's not off-grid, but we're going to show you a few little things that we do for the week while we're gone. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you when we get back. Here we go. Bye, cabin. I'll miss you. All right. Now we're in a snowmobile where the truck is. We can't drive back here anymore. We barely made it out of here last time. So we are snowmobiling the mile or so in here, parking at a neighbor's.
this is the view from our Airbnb that I found. This is what we used to do before we started building a cabin. <laughs> to fish all the time. Alright guys, we gave it a valiant four minutes. Happy girl! Sunshine! <laughs> 